The Chicago Police Department has just released May crime numbers. Glenn Marshall is live at police headquarters with more. Good morning, Glenn. Hey, good morning. Just looking at Memorial Day holiday weekend, we've seen a decrease in numbers since last year. We had more than 30 people shot with three people killed, but that is the lowest amount of violence that we've seen on the holiday weekend like Memorial Day since 2013. Let's take a look at the statistics to break down these numbers. Just alone in May, the city uh, says that they saw 65 murders, which is down from 2020's 84 murders. The lowest within the past four years was 2018 when the city saw 51 people killed in May alone, but crime is on the rise. While there's been a decrease in carjackings, the city has seen 5% increase in murder so far this year with a 24% rise in shootings happening this year as well. And one of those shootings happened yesterday in Humble Park. A 40-year-old man was killed in the drive-by shooting and happened outside the Salvation Army Freedom Center near Chicago and Spalding Avenue. The shooting took place within a block from where several officers were working foot patrol. They were brought in as part of the 12 hour shift to deter violence over the weekend. But again, 33 people were shot during the Memorial Day holiday weekend with three being killed. Now, later on today, the superintendent of police is expected to talk to us about his plan for the summer violence coming up in the next couple of days. Well, of course, we'll bring that to you as we receive it. For now, we're live at police headquarters. I'm Glenn Marshall, WGN News.